Hi, I am Stasala from Lithuania. I teach English here at Kurshina Provincial Secondary School and I am also a class teacher for a group of very smart seventh forms. Hi! We are very interested in using ICT while teaching and learning, but today we are going to get even deeper into this and discuss the use of Web2 tools with my pupils. Uh, I know that you use the internet a lot, yeah. but uh, I would like to ask uh, if you have noticed any difference between Web1 and Web2. Of course we have. Look, this is our class website we had several years ago. We could only look at it and read it. Of course we liked it, but now we have got something completely different. This is really our website. We can use it for our needs, learning, talking with classmates and sharing. The website is divided into three parts. The part for all visitors, the part for pupils and for parents. In the part for all visitors, our class teacher usually creates new articles about the class activities, achievements, projects and so on. In the part for parents, she publishes important information about curriculum and relevant articles. This part is ours. We can edit it, add content, suggest ideas for improvement, embed different content, movies from YouTube, and so on. It's great that we can create new articles here and comment them. We can upload pictures and read them. We can chat and discuss our ideas about school life in a forum. We can also share links and content from our sites. We can do tests, see the results and even create our tests. We can embed learning widgets such as text-to-speech or listening to English from BBC. The best thing is that I can check what is from my homework. We fill this page ourselves. Even if I'm ill and stay at home, I can follow the class activities and see what my class friends do and learn at school. My parents like watching class website as well, and sometimes they even comment our school activities. Well, I can see that your class website, based on web to tools has really enhanced your class community and have made you more motivated to learn. It's great, you are so smart, but how do you learn all this? Well, I find the first time that we could create online articles ourselves was when we had a learning project in India. We used Twin Space and created our own pages to project. Okay, that's great. Uh, what other web to tools do you use? We use Wikipedia a lot. If I had to find information, I always look on Wikipedia first. Then I, uh, then I need to wait for my presentation. I look for that on, on Google and Flip. I like that because people can share for I also like YouTube, uh, where I can watch videos uh, made by others and learn a lot. Uh, for example, I needed to make a paper snowflakes for my class decoration and I found demonstrations there. Hey, that's nice. I can yeah. this off the gate. Uh, for example, I need to, to do a presentation. I can create simple PowerPoint presentation, upload it to Snowboard, and then easily share it with others. I can also uh, embed them into my class uh, website uh, and uh, watch uh, presentations made by others. What I like most is that I can create a web presentation, for example, on Bokeh or a slide, and embed to not them not only on our class website, but on my blog or Facebook as well. I like Google Earth. I can create my own routes, save them, and then watch them again and again. I can even share them with my friends. I think it's just great. Yes, I agree with you. Web2 tools are really great. They give you more freedom to create your own web-based content and to make the best use of the net. Learning, taking part in different projects and sharing. But I'm a bit worried about your safety. I think that uh, the Web2 tools have made the net impossible to control. Anyone can write what they want, you can upload what they want, edit, comment and so on. Cyberbullying is a great problem. Uh, do you know how to behave yourself in the net? We know how to behave on the net. We often talk about this with our teachers and parents. Mm -hmm. uh, our class website is very safe because only teachers, pupils and uh, parents can uh, log in here. 
write in the comments, uh, discuss, chat. We, we never publish photos. We have people's names for our personal information. With all the respect, other people than that the way we do in real life. If, if you see something wrong in the net, it will tell to a parent or teachers. Okay, you can reassure me. I hope that you will never have any problems on the net. Now I'd like to invite you to dream a little bit uh, and to imagine what other web two tools would be useful for learning. What would you recommend other teachers or maybe computer programmers to create? And I guess if we cannot go to school, we can check what our homework is on our class website. I think it would be very good if we could watch our whole lessons at least some part of them on the net and learn our own. I think in the future uh, we will make uh, use of more mobile phones. For example, the teacher asks a question and we answer and send it. Okay. And the teacher will see the results immediately. Okay, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think an online tool for making dialogue would be very useful. For example, now we record how much electricity do we use on paper, mm -hmm. and then we draw a diagram. Mm -hmm. But we could have a tool on our website, and then we would be we would set data every day, and then our diagram would be made automatically. Wow. Perfect. I would like a uh, to have a learning environment, maybe, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like we now have for, for games such as Ninja. Ah, of course, that would be great. Uh, I can see that your all ideas are great, and I hope that one day they will come true. It will be a reality, and you will be able to use the tools, or maybe you will create the tools yourself for others. Okay, uh, thank you for a very nice discussion. Thank you. Thank you. And bye bye for now. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Of course, I agree that Web2 tools give a lot of new, exciting opportunities for learning and teaching, but at the same time, they challenge us. There are so many different issues that we should consider before starting to use them with our pupils. Internet safety, copyright issues, inappropriate content and images that are difficult to control, and much more. Nevertheless, I believe that if we pay attention to these problems, we will be able to make the best possible use of Web2Tools in education. And I wish you all good luck. <laughs>